Millionaire Bars. You start by creaming half a cup of granulated sugar and three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter together. Butter is at room temp. So we're starting the base of our Millionaire Bar. See how it just looks a little bit more creamy? That's lovely. So now we need a cup and a half of flour. That's one, half a cup over here. Then a little bit of salt. <laughs> slow, slow first. Once the flour starts to really incorporate, you can turn it up a little bit. So it looks a little crumbly and it's still gonna continue to look crumbly, but once I press it in the pan, it's all gonna come together. Alrighty. Put a little bit of parchment paper right on the inside, but just enough so you have some handles to pull it out once it's all done. So once everything chills together, you wanna be able to grab it out of the pan real easy. The best tools you have in the kitchen are your hands. Turn the oven down to 325, then this crust will go in for about 35 to 40 minutes. Next up, it's time to make the caramel. This is a really easy, easy caramel. You don't need a candy thermometer, you just need a can of sweetened condensed milk. You're gonna get that into a saucepan. This is seven tablespoons. I took a tablespoon off earlier for the apples and fennel. So we're gonna put the rest of it into our sweetened condensed milk. And then into that, some light corn syrup, three tablespoons. A little bit of loosely packed light brown sugar. Give that a little stir. And then we're just gonna wait for this to come up to a really beautiful caramel color because we're making caramel. So we want that caramely color. This caramel takes about 15 minutes on a medium heat. So you, do, you don't really wanna get this to a, like a heavy boil. You want it to just barely simmer. We want the butter to melt in, the sugar to melt in, and then it'll start to get this really beautiful, rich color. You can see how the consistency has changed. It really pulls off the sides. So we're gonna turn the heat off and add just one teaspoon of vanilla and flavor enhancer, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Give that a good stir. Mmm, oh my goodness, it smells so crazy good. Very excited about this. So let's get our crust and then get the caramel right in, whoa. Caramel all over the place. The caramel is very hot, so just be careful pouring it over the crust. Make sure it gets all to the edges. Okay, into the fridge. Chocolate time. So we're gonna melt this chocolate. This is semi-sweet chocolate because the caramel is so sweet. We don't need to add sweet on sweet on sweet, but we do need to get it over some boiling water. So I've got some water in here. So you don't want your bowl to actually touch the water. You want it to be just above and let that steam and the boiling water really heat up and melt the chocolate. I'm gonna get the bars and get that chocolate on top of the caramel. You can really see how the caramel set up. It's coming away from the edge like that. Look at that, it's set up nicely. So I'm gonna pull this a little closer. Let's do it. Just spread this all to the edges. There we go. Into the fridge to set up. They have set by now. So I just wanna release the edges where the chocolate has stuck to the sides. So they come out all together. That's where those handles come in really handy. So I'm gonna cut this into thirds and then try to make them into kind of long bars. Just a little bit of muscle strength, not much. Just look at it already. Look at that. The caramel, that beautiful shortbread at the bottom, the caramel, the chocolate. Literally trying to speak having a hard time because my mouth is watering so dramatically. <laughs> this beautiful one just fell apart, so it needs to go in my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. That is ridiculous. So good. 